we are doing a exhaust exhaust test. We're putting the cloth with the elastic band over the exhaust pipe. And this will tell us and show us how much toxins are coming out of the vehicle before riding is added. And you just easily strap it on there firmly. It's on there good. And he runs the vehicle for one minute. And we'll see what kind of fumes he's getting out of his vehicle right now. So, do you have a timer? You may want to mention as well that the vehicle is, uh, this vehicle is a propane vehicle. And we're testing the exhaust. It's been running around quite a bit, so it's a warm start for one minute uh, warm test. The two other vehicles we'll be doing are going to be uh, from a cold start for one minute. So you just let me know when you're ready to. This is a propane vehicle, and we're going to run the vehicle for one minute. All right. Propane burns a lot cleaner, but as you can see, propane still is harmful to the environment. Fifteen seconds to go, Dave. Okay. Five seconds. All right, to the. Okay, so we'll take it off. And it's important to remember that this was a warm start. The vehicle had been running around for quite a few hours. So actually, in actuality, it's burning very clean, but that's the propane. Propane burns a lot cleaner than regular unleaded or diesel fuel. Yeah. So we may not see any results from that because of that. But yeah. okay. And now we go to the front where we're going to add our uh, ion neutralizer. Yeah. And then, um, this this will this will do what it'll clean the engine so all the ports in the yeah I'll clean the radiator system mm -hmm. all the ports in the engine yeah and also it'll uh, neutralize the ions in the engine yeah. to be added to the radiator did you want to get So this is the riding metal ion flush. It's to, com to clean the radiator in the engine compartment. How long should it be in the radiator system before the power flush? How long should it be running around? We drive that for 500 kilometers. They'll clean out there. Really, I guess, yeah, they should be driving on a fairly regular basis. Like immediately as we add this right now into the cooling system, I'm going to start the vehicle and keep it running. So it should be running for 20 minutes so that it's in the system. And then before we can turn the engine off or we can continue driving. Okay. So as you can see, this is the uh, radiator system here. It's, there's no other radiator cap, so it's the only way to add it to our radiator system. Okay, so I'll start the car up for 20 minutes.